Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about a uh, concept called Profit First by Mike Michaelovis. So I'm not going to talk about in detail about this concept and uh, because I have you know, worked on an article, I'll put the link on the video description and there are tons of articles on the, um, if you search on the Google. Uh, the purpose of this video is to give you the practical idea of how to implement this for your business and also uh, uh, how to implement this uh, within zero if you are using zero if you are a zero subscriber um, and also i have created a template uh, based on his concept uh, this is a very basic template where i'll, I'll put the link on the uh, video description so you can download and you know, use it for your business and even you can modify it based on your purpose so talking about this uh, profit first, uh, in my opinion, this is more focused on the cash flow. So basically, uh, he will <coughs> he mentioned that uh, first you pay yourself uh, the profit. Um, so so the normal accounting uh, formula is revenue minus expenses. Then you have the profit. But in this concept, uh, we are going to take the profit first. Um, by changing the formula that means revenue minus profit then you have expenses that means uh, once you take the profit then you have certain uh, amount to spend on the exp uh, expenses um, then you will um, know how to cut unnecessary expenses and um, use um, the money more wisely on the expenses that is the uh, concept um, in in a very simple way so you can uh, you know refer the resources to get into more details so uh, here let me explain you about my template first here uh, normally he mentioned that we need uh, to get the like company allocation uh, on, on each of these areas revenue profit owners pay tax also he mentioned uh, that and given that means target allocation percentage this is based on your revenue range uh, let's say if you are a small company 250k then 250k to 500 and so on like that so uh, actually this can be changed i mean this is a standard uh, you know, percentages he has mentioned uh, uh, in his book but you know you can change based on your nature of the business and the first thing is we need to identify the current allocation then based on that we can you now see uh, if we can compare with this target allocation percentages and we can you know align um, to this ratio so first uh, you can go to zero and i'm not going to explain how to create bank accounts because uh, under the profit first you need to create these bank accounts that means one for revenue one for the profit one for your owner's pay tax and opex right so in this example i'm not going to you know create bank accounts in zero because you already know how to do it what you can do is you go to a bank and you know you have to think about the other benefits of us by these banks and you know you can open those bank accounts in zero the important thing is we need to um, identify these in um, zero, right? So what I suggest is that uh, I have I, we can create a customized report in zero to get these values easily. Uh, if you go to zero, uh, you will see there's a thing called blank report, right? If you click on this blank report, then you can add these accounts right uh, these uh, accounts and get the amounts we have currently in this template uh, green means that you have to enter manually <laughs> this is from zero and also based on your revenue range we can allocate the uh, target allocation uh, ratio uh, percentages and then it will give us uh, if we need to increase or decrease the amounts on each uh, of the category so this is the uh, report I have created of the blank 
uh, I'll, give, I'll, I'll do a separate video on how to do that but let me give you a brief, brief explanation so I have added sales of X bonus pay income tax and also the current year earnings or the profits so if you go to the edit layout uh, you you'll see how I done that so you can see I have added these accounts and for Apex I have grouped it by adding all the uh, the expenses of accounts uh, for each category then we can get all these amounts by using uh, this report okay right so here we have I'm going to enter this amount into this template to get our current allocation percentages so going to round, round these numbers off we have the revenue uh, for the period right so uh, anyway you can you know give any date range uh, basically you know you have to take the last 12 months so in here I'm going to use the current financial year so for the current financial year we have 120k so uh, I'm going to use the rounded number only for the OPEX we have income tax 12k honest pay 9600 then we can enter the profit here We can see if this is much yes. So 120k if we add these all categories. Now the next thing is we like I mentioned you need to fill this screen part. I, I have also added not here. So uh, we need to identify our percentages based on the revenue. So our revenue uh, for the current year is 120k. That means we fall uh, in the A category. Right. So what we do is we going to use features in this A category. Now you, you can simply copy that. Right. So based on this uh, calculation, you will get a profit. Now we are going to increase. So what you can do is you can uh, you know decrease or to get into the target allocation percentages. And here, on a space bit low in the current allocation, what you can do is you can increase that. Same way for taxes, you you have to. This is really important. You you need to allocate more funds to the tax. And similar way for the expenses, um, see there, there's a big gap between the target allocation and the company allocation. At the moment what you can do is you can decrease right you can decrease means you can you know see the unwanted expenses and you can cut then only you can you know allocate to the each of the above accounts right so this the total of this difference will give you uh, zero balance right so i hope now you have brief idea about how it's done so once you have this amount what you can do is you can you know allocate uh, you know transfer money between each account and you can you know every six months you can review this and it doesn't need to be the target allocation percentages you you can use your own uh, ratios uh, and and the percentages based on that right and also, um, I would like to tell you that uh, we, we have a couple of clients who implemented this profit method, uh, system. We are not the partners with the profit first. So, uh, so I would like to mention that as well. So if you want to implement this for business, then Cloud Tech Book can help you. And we also do other accounting and bookkeeping work. So if you have any questions, you can you know, comment and drop an email if there's anything and uh, i'll come back with another uh,
good video like this have a great day thank you